Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Thanks for checking out my second video. I hope you're all safe, well. Uh, today, we're talking about dramatic lighting. So I wanna teach you how to take a room that looks like this and make it more like this. So I'm gonna run you through every light step by step, what I used, where I put it, and honestly, this whole thing cost me less than $100, I promise you. So if you wanna be able to create a similar look at home, then stick around. Let's kick back and without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Yo, yo. All right, so I'm in the control room. I've stripped out all the lights, so we're starting from scratch, so you can see it step by step. First thing I always wanna do is set my framing. So I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and make sure I'm happy with the actual shot. Uh, typically, I'll sit in this chair right here, um, and I'll put the camera near the door, shooting this direction. So I'm gonna set that up now. I'll show you guys what we're using camera-wise, and then we'll get lighting. Time lapse. So my camera is on the tripod and I actually have it connected to this monitor. This is my typical setup. We have the Canon M6 Mark II with the 15 45 millimeter kit lens on there. I take the HDMI output from the camera and put it into this monitor. It's just a typical computer monitor that I've strapped to this stand which has wheels. This makes my life really easy. If I have to change rooms, I can just drag the monitor with me. And typically I'm using that to set white balance, make sure my focus is correct, and also just check my framing. I would recommend if you have an old computer monitor laying around, definitely use it to help you when shooting. Okay, great. So we have the camera on the tripod and we have the screen so we can see ourselves. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up the key light. And that's gonna be the main light that actually lights my face in the scene. So for this, we're using the e -Mart bi-color LED light that I got from Amazon. It was actually $40 and it comes with a softbox and a stand. So it's kind of good value for money. I mean, obviously it's a cheaper light, but we're gonna try and get the best results we can from it. The nice thing about this light is it's changeable between two color temperatures. So we can swap between daylight and we can also swap between more of a tungsten color temperature. So for the purposes of today, I'm gonna to set it to the daylight temperature. Let me show you where we set it up and then we'll jump into the A cam and see how it looks. Um, hopefully you can see over my shoulder, light is here and my chair is here. So it's basically just a 45 degree angle to my left hand side. I think it looks great. It's basically a very dramatic light just hitting one side of my face. So let's actually jump into the main camera and I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll start adding other lights and building the shot from there. All right, so this is what it looks like with just the key light. So I turned off all the lights in the studio apart from this one key light. And as you can see, it's hitting me at a 45 degree angle, giving this really nice dramatic drop off on this side of my face. And we will get to adding a little bit more light here. And obviously we're gonna start adding more elements to the background to make this whole scene come to life. But this is a really good starting point and I'm happy with it. We have this beautiful separation from the background. Luckily, none of the light spills back there. So it means when we start adding lights to the background, it's gonna be even more dramatic. So I'm gonna put all the lights back on. We'll talk about what we're gonna do next and then we'll jump back here and see what it adds to the shot. So let's do it. All right, now we have our key light in place. The next thing we're gonna address is the background. So in the final shot, we have this blue wash across the entire background. And actually to achieve this, all I did was use a cheap LED work light that I found at Home Depot. This light was $19. I've actually left a light in the description below from Amazon that will do the exact same thing for a similar price point. Now to get the blue color, I picked up a set of 15 gels that cost me $10 on Amazon. And these things are great, they're actually so versatile. Put them right in front of the light to achieve different colors. And you can also double up on gels or mix and match colors to create different looks. So let me show you where I put the light. We'll have a look at how I set it up and then we'll jump back into the A-cam and see what it adds to the shot. Then we can start thinking about the last little lights we're gonna add to achieve the final look. So I have the LED light in place. Hopefully you guys can see it. I put it right on the floor here behind my chair and I'm just facing it with the back wall. And then I'm simply just gonna take my gel and place it right in front of the light, turn it on, and now we have this lovely blue light against the whole back wall. So, let's jump into the A-cam and let's see what it adds to the shot. So this is what it looks like. We got the key light and then we got the LED work light, giving us that blue background. And I think it's honestly starting to come together. We're starting to create a vibe. So the next thing I wanna do is add a kicker light. And it's just gonna give me a little bit of definition on this side of my face and also my shoulder and down my arm. And honestly, I'm so excited to show you this next light. I found it on Amazon, it is the coolest thing 
and it's $14, so sick. So let's jump over, I'll show you that light, we'll set it up and then we'll come back here and see what adds to the shot. Let's do it. Okay, kicker light. We're gonna be using the LED Magic Wand. I got this thing on Amazon for $14 and it's basically a bi-color LED light that both has tungsten and daylight temperatures in it. And if you look on the end, hopefully you can see there's a power button right there. If I give that one tap, it turns on to both a mixture of daylight and tungsten light. One more tap will change it to just daylight. So now you have this nice white light that you could use as a key light or as a kicker. Tap it again and it now turns to a tungsten light. So we have this nice orange light, which gives us a more of an indoor kind of look and also similar for any application, overhead light, kicker light. One more click and it now turns to a sort of flashing mode between the two temperatures of LED. I don't think I would ever use this, but it's there. So last tap and it now turns off. This thing is really cool. One of my favorite features is if I tap the light to turn it on, I can hold down my finger and this light dims between 2% and 100%. So this thing gets really, really bright and I can dim it all the way down if I just wanted to have a subtle light in the corner. And of course, you can change the brightness on any color temperature. So that feature works across all the different temperatures. This thing is so cool. It's became my new favorite light. On the other side, there's this little power input and the light comes with a cable, which is basically just a USB to power adapter. On one charge, you get 10 hours of light. So you charge this thing up, take it with you, you've got light all day, 10 hours, one charge. And of course, if you're using it in the same place every day, by all means, you can just leave it plugged in and you never have to charge it. The last thing that's actually pretty cool is it comes with this little mounting plate. So if you use this in the same location every day, you can just screw this on the wall and then it's magnetic. So you just put it there. If you need to use it somewhere else, pick it up and go. This thing is badass. Link in the description below, pick it up. Uh, so let me show you guys where I put this. We'll set it up as the kicker light and then we'll jump in and see what it adds to the shot. Let's do it. So I set up the little kicker light. It's just on the actual console behind me and it's just hitting the right hand side of my face as I'm sitting in the chair right here. Let's jump back into the ACAM, have a look and see what that adds to the shot. Okay, so as you can see, we now have the kicker light in place. So it's basically just giving me a nice like little definition on this side of my face. It's also hitting my shoulder and my arm. So it's just giving me a little bit of pop out of the background. I actually really like what it's doing to the shot. And a bit of a happy accident, it's actually giving this nice light over the mixing console. So some of the knobs and the faders are kind of just creating these cool shadows. So there's a little bit of a happy accident, but I dig it. The next thing I wanna do is add a pop of color to the background. So in the original shot, we had this orange light on the plant back there. So I'm gonna put the lights back on, I'll show you how I created that light, put that there, jump back here and then we'll check it out. But all in all, I think we're headed in the right direction. This is looking really cool. Once we get all the lights together, we'll tweak our exposure, make sure everything's balanced correctly, but Seems good, so let's move on. So to get the orange on our plant, I basically just took three of the gels. So I have two orange and one red and simply just rolled them up into a cylinder. Roll them up together, little bit of gaff tape, done. So it's that simple. And then I just took one of the LED magic wands, turn that guy on inside and now we have our orange light which is going to go on the plant so super super simple solution and uh it works great so let me actually show you where i'm going to place that light and then we're going to jump back to the acam and we're going to see what it looks like you know the drill at this point so let's do it okay so now that i have the led wand wrapped in the gels i actually just hit it right on the shelf behind me and it's just tucked around the corner so that the main camera can't see it but it's really close to the plant, so it gives this nice, heavy, dramatic light. So let's jump over to the other cam, see how it looks. All right, this whole thing's starting to come together. With the addition of the orange light and the plant, I think it looks really cool. So just to recap, we have the key light, just hitting me on the face and keeping this side nice and dark and dramatic. And then we've added the little LED wand for this little kicker light, giving me some definition here on my arm and separating me from the background a little bit. 
On the floor behind me, we have the LED work light with the blue gel in front of it, just giving the whole wall a nice blue wash. And then obviously the orange light is the second LED wand wrapped in the red and orange gels. And I think this all comes together to create a really vibey look. So we're almost done. There's just one more thing I want to add. So I'm gonna turn on all the audio gear behind me and get some nice little bokeh lights just in this side of the frame. I happen to be lucky that all that gear's there and there's so many lights on it, but there is a link in the description below to some LED string lights, which will create the exact same look and they're $6. So if you pick up those, just string them in the background somewhere and it's gonna create the same effect. So I'm gonna go turn on the audio gear we're gonna come back and look at the final look and we're gonna be finished, but we're so close and I'm really happy with how this is turning out. So let me fire that up and we'll come right back. And this is our final look. So I turned on the audio gear behind me I put on the computer monitor and I think everything came together to create this really vibey, really kind of dramatic look. I'm very happy with it. And of course, everything you see is for less than $100 without the audio equipment, which of course you could replace with some string lights. But we did this on a budget and I honestly think it looks pretty good. But let me know your thoughts. Comment below if you have any questions or if you think things can be improved. I'd definitely like to know. And if you did get value from the video, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. That would be highly appreciated. And I guess that's all for now. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.